Good evening all, thank you for coming. The late Tabitha Michelle Jenga was my sister. She was born on the 5th of September 1989 in Camden, London. She was the last of three children and our only daughter for Dr. and Mrs. Elizabeth Jenga. She was sister to me, Eddie, and my brother, Bidan, Auntie to Tanya and Leticia, and sister-in-law to Michelle and Wairimo. Tabitha attended primary school at West Thornton Primary School, then moved to Norbury Manor Business and Enterprise College for girls, where she took her GCSEs, achieving five A's, four B's, then on to Coloma Convent Girls Sixth Form, where she achieved three A's in English, Government, Politics, and History, and a B in Maths. Tabitha always thought her brothers were intelligent, but she was more intelligent than we were. This helped to secure her place to study law at Essex University, where she had just completed her first year with flying colors and described by her lecturers as a hardworking and diligent student who actively engaged in all parts of university life. Tabitha was brought up as a Catholic, but later joined mom in the Church of England, where she actively uh, participated in church activities and liaised with Baptist churches such as Elm Church. Her activities, Michelle had a wicked personality polished with a trademark smile, which coupled with her intelligence propelled her to achieve her goals and confirmed her ambition to become a lawyer. From a young age, she was form representative undertaking responsibilities of being an active member of school council and presenting issues of concern to the council members on behalf of sixth form student body. She was elected chairwoman of the Fair Trade Committee, which she led successfully, was also an active member of a charities committee, presenting and performing for her peers. She also led an assembly in the worldwide Stop the Traffic campaign for her form group. Tabitha participated in the Duke of Edinburgh Award and achieved a bronze certificate that required great leadership skills and the ability to cope under pressure. Amongst the jobs included work experience in Juliet Bellis and Co. Solicitors, McDonald's and Sainsbury's supermarkets. Michelle enjoyed writing poetry, songs, attending the theatre and swimming, and also reading novels and foreign literature, particularly by Chinua Achebe, Things Fall Apart, which explores the relations of British colonization in Africa. Topics which, unfortunately, I didn't go into, but Tabitha was keen, interested, and highlighted those to us. Michelle liked people, for, and for that reason, she had a huge fan base with a popular Facebook website, whereby every fun, outing, girly issues, and current party plots were posted and thoroughly re reviewed. Her photos were instantly being updated and I'm sure the computer at home and her laptop will wonder where she is. She will greatly be missed by relatives, friends, teachers, and all who met her throughout her short but fantastic life. Amen. Eddie is uh, Tabitha's brother. Uh, it's quite interesting the way the two eurogies have been led. Uh, there is a common denominator in the two eurogies. I have discovered that both girls loved people. I don't know whether you did identify that. They were quite social people. They were people who, would, who are there for their friends. Uh, and, and I think that is good. That is good. That is one of, the, uh, one of the characteristics we can take from these two young girls, that we can be out there for people. We can be there actively for our friends. That is very good.